Hey guys, what's going on? Derek Butler here. Um, today is a big discussion that every person in the world always questions and knows about. The topic is douchebags. And mainly it's on the internet. These douchebags that are posting tweets and Facebook statuses and just doing dumb things and pictures and all sorts of stuff. That's just extremely douchey for a guy to do and what makes people and females unattractive to you. This is what you do and what you shouldn't do and the reactions of why. First thing is, is when people post, or guys post, lonely statuses. Okay? We understand, you're like, oh my god, I'm so, like, you're a guy, so like, man, I'm so lonely. Uh, I've been sitting here on my couch playing Xbox 360. I need me as a boo and a girl who likes to play Xbox and likes to get it with me. Listen to me, dude. No girl is attracted to a guy who's just sitting on his ass and just posts how lonely he is. What you need to do to fix the situation is go out there, find a female, introduce yourself, and get a female. Posting how lonely you are does not get you a chick. There's no chicks out there like, oh my god, he's so lonely at his house all the time, playing Xbox 360. I want to fuck him so bad. Like, the way he sits there and posts how lonely he is turns me on so much. His boredom is so hot! My god, it makes my pussy tingle to think about how lonely he is! Oh, he's probably never even had a pussy! Wait till he sees this! Ooh! No, no, that's not gonna work for you. Posting lonely statuses is not gonna get you a chick. Everybody's gonna be like, this kid's a fucking loser. Douchey loser who sits on his couch all day long. Okay, that's number one. Number two. Nice guys always finish last. I bought her flowers, and that's why she dumped me. Because she doesn't like flowers. No, she didn't dump you because you're a nice guy. Okay, you claim to be a nice guy. You're the nicest guy in the whole universe. Obviously, there's something about you. Maybe you stalked her. Maybe you fucking went to her work and engaged to her the third day you met her. Maybe you fucking went into her bushes and was stuck watching her fucking change. Who knows what you did? Just because you're nice doesn't mean you didn't fuck up, buddy. You can be nice as fuck fucking. You can be fucking, I don't know, Willy Wonka nice. You'd be like, I'm Willy Wonka, here's some fucking candy and shit. You still have some kind of reason why this girl doesn't want you. Not because nice guys finish last. We get nobody. Maybe it's because you look like fucking Shrek. <laughs> no, who knows? I mean, I'm saying looks are everything, but obviously there's some fucking reason that you lost that female. Not because nice guys finish last. That's not why. So stop with that fucking stereotype and find the reason why they broke up with you and then fix it. Fix it. Change whatever it is if you really like that person or love that person or whatever it is. If you really like that person, you'll change whatever you're doing wrong and get that. Not because you're nice. No, Nobody's like, he's way too nice for me. Like, he is way too nice. He, like, bought me a diamond ring. He brought me to dinner. I met his parent. Way too fucking nice. No one's saying that, brah. So change your aspect on that completely. Okay? Thanks. Uh, next one. Shirtless pics. Listen, if you're trying to get a chick and you really want a chick, just a, one female, one female to marry and spend the rest of your life with, posting a bunch of douchey tool pictures like, like in your, in, no shirt on, fucking chest hair hanging out, all fucking 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 pack. That might get you a Jersey Shore chick, but that ain't get you no real woman. So you just look douchey. Everybody's like, dude, this kid posts fucking more nude pics than anybody I know. Like, you, you don't need to... It's just the same thing as a chick posting her tits everywhere. You're posting your whole body. Mm, 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 mm. It's not even beach season yet, and I'm still looking good. Oh, yeah. Like, what the fuck? You look douchey as shit. Maybe you, just to stop posting them. Like, set, like, wait till they meet you in person, then show them how fucking strong you are. Like, posting on the internet is not going to get you a woman, okay? Okay, 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 okay. okay. Alright? Steroids ain't cool, bro. What else? Tough guys. Guys that think they're fucking badass. They're like, yo man, you all, you, you internet tough guy? You wanna fight me? You wanna fight me? Like, you're coming at people all the time. You're always mad at people. You're like, don't slit your wrist, bro. I'm gonna kill you. Murder your whole family. Your dad's a scumbag. You're a scumbag. I'm coming at your whole family. You can't stop me. Bring all your boys. It's not cool to be a tough guy. No one's like, oh my god, he's such a tough guy. He lives on the streets. 
Oh my god! Look at that cutoff! Damn, boy! Oh, I'm gonna fuck him so bad! Ooh, my pussy is just rumbling for all this badass fucking shit coming from it! Ooh, ooh my pussy's just it's waiting to fight him too! Fight his dick! <laughs> no, bro. No girl is just gonna be fucking just coming at you because you're such a tough guy and you're fucking trying to fight the whole world. A girl does not want to go out with you and have to worry about fighting everybody in the universe. She wants to go and have a nice date with you and have a nice time with you, not fight the whole fucking world. It's not maybe one fight just to defend her, but if you're not defending her and you're defending who else? Who the fucking knows? Okay, you're not getting shit. What else? Money. <laughs> You motherfuckers who post pictures of all your money, like, ooh, look at all this money, look at all this dough, look at I got, dude, that's your welfare check? I don't want to see your welfare check stacked out, man, that's wrong. I don't want to see your fucking mom's rent money. Yeah, my mom's rent money. She let me hold it, so I'm going to post a picture, act like I'm a badass. Tons of money. You don't have tons of money, man, you're posting your mom's rent money. I don't want to see your drop, yeah, I just bought, I'm about to go buy an ounce. Look at all the money I'm got about to spend so I can make a $20 profit. No, bro. Being a drug dealer ain't cool. No one's like, oh, I can't wait to date the drug dealer. Oh, my God, my whole life, my whole dream was to date that drug dealer. No, bro. Get a job. I don't even care. Mickey D's is better than fucking selling drugs, in my opinion. Whatever, though, whatever. And drugs, like I said, I'm the section of drugs. Like, they're like, oh, man. I got fucking five pounds of weed right now. Who's trying to hit me up? Dude, you're going to get arrested. You're going to go to jail. You're posting that shit everywhere on the internet for everyone to see. Like, ooh, Instagram this picture of that purple weed. That'll get me mad, bitches. Maybe some bitches like fucking purple weed. I don't know. Purple's a nice color. But whatever. Just saying. And then guys that say all girls is all girls are the same. They're all bitches and sluts, man. All they want is fucking money and dicks. This big old hunk of dicks. I, my dicks average. My dicks maybe slightly below average. All girls are the same. All they care about is getting drunk and fucking playing with their pussy. No, bro. All chicks are not the same. Every person in the entire universe, everybody, is a little bit different. No one's the same, okay? Some girls like to touch their cooter, some don't. Some girls like grape soda, some don't. Like, and everybody's different. Some girls like cats, some girls like fuck kitties. And everybody's different. Some people really like cats and collect cats and then buy fucking cat music boxes. Anywho, cat music boxes, yes, that's how much they love cats. So every person in the whole world is different, bro. Very, 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 very different, okay? So stop being a douchebag. Figure out your way. Figure out to fix yourself to become undouche. Take some tips from me. You don't have to listen to me. You can call me a douchebag. I don't care. I'm just trying to help your game, bro. If, if it works, it works. If it don't, it don't. Just take what I give you. Just take, take just maybe take one thing out of there. Maybe just go buy a pizza. I don't know what the fuck you're doing right now. Just figure out your way. Okay, this has been Derek Butler's tips on how not to be a douchebag or people that are douchebags and examples of why. So have a great day, people, buddy.